good morning children today we are going to start with a new lesson that is the fox and the partridge so children you know what is fox now you can see in the picture here is a fox here you can see this fox the fox is a very cunning animal you know that and partridge she is a bird here you can see partridge partridge is a bird with a brown feathers and a plumpy body and a short tail so you can see this this is a partridge bird here she has a brown feathers plumpy body means little fat here and very short tail so how here the fox and the partridge what is the story here the fox is very hungry and he wanted to eat something so he met partridge on the way there so how he convinced the partridge how he is saying the beautiful words talking with the partridge and he wanted to eat partridge there so he was just convincing oh wow how beautiful you are and all those things he was saying to partridge and the partridge that bird oh wow he is pleasing me so nicely so even she was very happy with fox performance there so but let us read the story how both of them just uh, how this fox become foolish there let us see here let us read the story here yes i am hungry said a greedy little fox licking his lips you can see his lips na how does the animal lick his lips you can see the uh, tongue is outside there and all of the water is falling from the tongue there so what the fox is saying i am very hungry oh i want to eat something so today he is saying i am very hungry i am very much i want to eat something i hope i can get something really big today so what that fox wanted to eat it wanted to eat a very big animal he wanted to eat a catch a very big animal there so the fox was talking i want really a big animal today saying this he trotted off to the woods to find himself a nice big supper supper is nothing but food children he trotted means what slowly slowly he is keeping his steps near the woods he is in the forest there near the wood there understood so he is keeping his steps slowly slowly and he wanted to see which animal i can eat today which animal i can find and eat so he was very much hungry so he was planning to have a very big animal today or a very big thing so what happens there soon he saw a fat partridge soon what happened there he saw a fat partridge sitting on the top of a bush so the partridge was sitting on the top of the bush bush is nothing but the plant there so the partridge is sitting the bird is sitting near the bush there understood so what he is saying there he did not want to frighten her away so the fox was saying i don't don't want to frighten that bird if i frighten the bird the bird will fly so what he did there so he sat down beside the bush and spoke softly to her so what happened even the fox came here slowly and he sat beside the partridge and he wanted to speak very softly with the partridge there what a beautiful bird you are your feathers are glowing in the sun i have never seen a bird more beautiful than you see now the fox is very hungry so what he is planning here he is planning to eat that bird so but how to eat that bird before that he is saying to the bird there oh, wow what a beautiful you are your feathers are very nice it's glowing in the sun oh you are more beautiful like this very nicely he is talking to the partridge there so that the partridge will also feel happy oh wow somebody is appreciating me so even the partridge was also feeling very happy there understood the partridge was pleased to hear this please means what the partridge was very happy she began to preen uh, preen her feathers in the sun preen means what when a bird smooth
smoothens and clean its feathers with its beak so when the bird the partridge was what happened she began to preen her feathers in the sun so she was cleaning her feathers in the sun oh wow he is just appreciating of my uh, feathers so nicely he is saying i have very nice feathers the my feathers are glowing in the sun so nicely he is feeling very happy to just say oh wow uh, patrick you are looking very beautiful even the bird she was also feeling very happy there how beautiful the fox said look at the purple the blue and the green feathers so the fox is saying wow you have a very nice purple blue and green feathers wow i wish i could see when you sleep so the fox is pleasing now so the fox is saying when you sleep so you look very beautiful i think you look even more beautiful when you are sleeping so your feathers which are of blue purple and green colors which are looking very good they are shining in front of the sun and when you sleep you are looking very still beautiful so the fox is pleasing wow wow everything he is saying like that the patrich closed her eyes so what happened the patrich was feeling very happy so what happened there she closed her eyes and she was imagining herself oh i am so beautiful pounds what is this pounds pounds means what the fox caught that patrich he just pounds means he is catching with his claws he is catching or is jumping on that bird there understood the fox had her in his jaws so what happened the fox catch that patridge in his jaw jaw is nothing but the hands now where he can you can see this is the jaw see here this fox these are the jaws here he just caught that patridge when the patridge closed the eyes he just catch that bird understood the oh the patridge said said in a thin voice now when the fox has caught oh i have become foolish i have just become foolish i this fox was supposed to eat me so he was pleasing me now i know that my mr fox please please tell me one more time how beautiful i am so uh, what happened patridge understood she understood that this fox wanted to eat me so he was pleasing me but even the patridge was also small a uh, very smart there what she said please tell me one more time how beautiful i am so even she is saying please open your mouth and tell me again please please me how beautiful i am tell me once more how my feathers glow in the sun then kill me for your supper so what patrick is saying you open your mouth and tell me again how beautiful i am looking then you can kill me and have have for your supper supper means what have you can have you have for your uh, lunch or you can have me as your food the fox spoke you are what happened the fox fox spoke means what happened the fox opened his mouth the patridge flew away as soon as the fox opened to speak something the bird flew away it's a bird now so it flew away she perched herself on the highest branch of the gowa tree so she flew away and sat in the gowa tree gowa is what you know peru na gawa tree so what happened as soon as the fox opened the mouth she flew away and she sat on a tree there so so foolish is that fox na the fox looked up at her now why did i open my mouth he asked himself angrily so the fox got angry now this patridge has foolished me she told me to open my mouth and i opened my mouth and she flew away i have only become foolish here see here he was wanted to have that patridge 
for uh, for the supper there for his dinner there or for the lunch there and he was pleasing that bird very nicely oh wow you are so beautiful your feathers looks beautiful but what did the partridge do even she knew that this fellow is foolishing me and what she told please open your mouth and tell me again that i am looking very pretty as soon as he opened the mouth the bird flew away see the fox na how foolish he has become children and why did i shut my eyes the partridge asked herself even the partridge also felt very bad how did i come in the uh, in this fox talk how, why should i why did i shut my eyes why did i close my eyes even the bird was also feeling very bad the angry little fox went on his way further into the woods looking for his supper again what happened now the partridge flew away now what to do but he was hungry na so again he started walking slowly slowly in the jungle looking for his supper looking for some other animal understood the children's story the fox and the partridge how did the fox was pleasing the partridge and how did the partridge foolish the fox there understood okay children read this lesson one time in your home write the meanings write the new words in your notebook okay children thank you